Hi, my name is Mark and welcome to my channel, The Media Nerd. In this video, I'm going to explain to you why you should not use an old 8mm projector that you found at your mom and dad's or your grandpa's house, at a thrift store, at a yard sale, or online. It could be any kind of projector, sort of like this, like this, like this one, or a really huge one like this. This is heavy. Oh. So you found a box of eight millimeter film. You came across their old projector as well. You're like, let's fire it up. Let's see what's on this film. And maybe if we like it, then we're going to send it off and get digitized. Now this particular model is called Revere. And this is actually my grandfather's. The reason why a person wouldn't want to use something like this Basically, because you may not know how to load the film correctly. It seems simple enough. So you put the film in, and you're going to put it through the sprocket gear. It's like that, and you close it up. And then you're going to put it down through the projector lamp, like this. And then you're going to loop it up and you're gonna close it up and you're gonna fire this on after this reels up and it's gonna be great here's the problem you need to actually have a loop up here like this to make it run smooth through where the light is projecting through and you're gonna want to pull it down so you have another loop down here make a few adjustments so now you have a nice loop up here and a nice loop right through here. It's going to catch on to your take up reel and it would work. So what if I didn't do that? What if I left it without the loops like that? It's going to shudder. It's going to quake. It's going to start ripping the holes in your film right through here. And then if these rip, it's ruined. You're never going to be able to have this transferred because you basically ruined it, unless you find a transfer service that doesn't use sprocket holes. Now, this particular model is an Elmo GS1200 Super 8 millimeter with sound. You think that it would be really simple to use, but there are some catch ups with this. You would press that down and that helps feed the film through. And you have to put the film right in here and have it catch. And it's gonna run through this and it's gonna come out the other side and wait, uh-oh. Look, it's starting to catch in here. It's going, it's going into the machine. And it, you're not gonna wonder what's going on. Why isn't my getting a picture? And it's going crazy and it's going through here and it's breaking and it's going to start burning because it's just getting all caught up inside and it's a huge mess. And you just don't want to use this type of machine if you don't have the experience using it. I hope I didn't ruin my Abbott and Costello film on this. Yeah, I did. I certainly did break it. Well, I'm going to have to splice this. Luckily, there's a video that I have showing how to splice Super 8 millimeter film. This is a Kodak Insomatic M109. I've never used this before. Client dropped it off. They didn't want it. So they gave it to me. So I haven't used it. I don't think I'm ever going to use it, but the point of this Super 8, 8 millimeter. I don't know what's going on with this thing. I don't know if the belts are working, if they're dried out, if the bulb's even working. Just a bad idea to use a projector that someone gave you. This is a super automatic 8 millimeter projector, and it's a tower projector. The bulbs get hot and it 
the light goes through through the lens. And with some projectors, there's a glass shield that will drop down. Close the blast door. Sometimes what happens is that glass shield won't fall into place in between the film and the super, super hot bulb. And it looks like it's running great. You see a picture coming out, everything is perfect. But what's happening is because the bulb is so hot, hot and the glass shield isn't protecting it, it is literally melting the film as it goes through. And then when it comes out the other side on the take-up reel, it cools down and it just starts to shrivel. You know, if you take a piece of plastic, you hold a match to it, how it shrivels up, that's exactly what will happen to your film. And when that happens, your film is... If you do run across a box of old 8mm film and you want to check it out to see what's on the film, use one of these guys. They're great. They're just manual. It has a little light. You put the film on one side, you reel it through on this side, a little picture shows up right here and you can see what's on your film to see if it's worth getting digitized. And this way you're not hurting your film at all. If you don't have the equipment to be able to digitize your own film, or frankly you just don't have the time, I would love to help you out. You can email me at info at coloradospringsvideo.com or you can go to my website, coloradospringsvideo.com. I do have a media order form that you can fill out and send to me. The contact information is in the description of this video. Now, if you want to learn more about this type of viewer, I do have a video that you can check out right here. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe, like, and ring that bell for future notifications. You have yourself a wonderful day.